Good afternoon, my fellow Americans. Today, I leave my post in public service with my head held high. And while I'm going to miss some of the people, some of the little people in Washington, D.C., who do the folks that we're going to help make things happen, one thing I'm not going to miss is the power games. I had to sit down with President Clinton, and he has agreed to accept my level of resignation. I'm on my private jet, ready to return back to Texas to my family and my beautiful wife, Betsy. There's one thing I've discovered about my post in D.C especially when we began two and a half years ago in uncertain times. The economy, it was weak and it was teetering. But we succeeded to boost the economy the right way with the right strength. We were so close, one. But I'm afraid Congress neglected this election season to negotiate a piece, a key piece of legislation. No worries, as a private citizen, I will, through the help of some staff lobbyists, assume a, assume a, assemble a package of legislation that benefits small business. Especially if we can get President Clinton to do something about it as well. Now, not working with him personally. It was never about being in service to the President. It was about being in service to people. When you drive home from church, you stop by the Salvation Army, you hear them sing their hymns. On the way from my post when I lived in D.C., there was a store that sold fragrances for women. The first year and a half, nearly two years, the store struggled to avoid closing. Now it's vibrant. The managers told me shortly before I left DC, we're open for business permanently. standing behind the public, the Republican leadership, I will not talk about who I'm supporting for the elections. I always think in the talk radio and other journalists. There'll be no direct questions today and no press conferences unless I say so. I'm returning to private life to be with my family and book my business and write my record for public service. I'm asking you that unless they ask to come forward, that you extend me and my family some privacy. God bless each and every one of you, and I always remember this. God bless America. Thank you, guys. I got to get ready. My jet's taking off.